Welcome, ladies and gentlemen of interwebs. My name is Bootstrap. This is my first ever video. And for my first video, I thought I would take a topic that would be somewhat interesting to us PC gamers specifically. VRAM. And most specifically, the usage of VRAM and how much of it is being used in games and how much do you really need. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind. Just because you have a ton of VRAM, it doesn't really mean that it's going to be used properly if the game is not optimized or programmed well. I suppose most of you would know that, but for those that don't, just having a ton of VRAM makes no difference if the product you're running is crap. For example, the Batman Arkham Shite that was out a little while ago from Warner Brothers, uh, who have a nice history of making garbage on, on release anyway, required 3.5 gigs to view that wonderful, of VRAM, to view that wonderful smeared crap that they had all over the game. And it, of course, it ran like oss. Then you've got Shadow of Mordor that requires 6 point something or 6 gigs of VRAM for their Ultra Pack. Does it even look that good? I don't think so. It looks okay, but does it look good enough to justify that kind of RAM usage? Don't think so. So now we're going to look at a game that has been programmed well by talented developers and even with the quote-unquote graphical downgrade, looks freaking amazing. The Witcher's contact in Velen was to be Hendrik, the Emperor's spy. Hendrick was operating incognito loading, in that loading, more ravaged loading. land. His mission is to gather by the way. intelligence this, about uh, Ciri. Intro still Yet takes Carol's so arrived too late. The wild hunt had reached Hendrick first. The Witcher learned nothing from the spy's corpse, but come the on, come had on. failed to find his... Right then. Now if you'll notice... You'll notice it's pretty louder, but to turn this down a bit... We'll get the volume down, son. Let's see here. Get that dropped out to about 30. There we go. Alright, so the point I was trying to make is if we look at the second line of my overlay that I have here on the top left-hand side of the screen, you'll see we're using 1.3 gigabytes, almost 1.4 gigabytes of VRAM. Now, this is a huge game with textures that are maybe some of the best I've ever seen on a PC game and it's freaking huge this is not a small game look at the size of this and this is one world uh, they have several that you can go to as you progress in the game so this is a huge game now if CD Projekt Red was able to go ahead and get this game done and I and I chose this area because there's a ton of foliage and a touch of shadows and and light shafts and and things like that so a lot of stuff going on and we're 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 fine we're 1.5 so you know for guys that have a uh, R9 270X or a 280X or 280 or a GTX 9 uh, 70 like myself with 3.5 uh, gigs of you know usable full DDR5 RAM or let's say you've got a uh, old GTX 750 Ti with two gigabytes of VRAM. Now obviously your uh, your settings as far as your graphical fidelity goes is going to be different, but your VRAM usage should not look at that gorgeous gorgeous uh, light rays coming through there. Awesome. Uh, but anyway, just based on that, if this game can run, then the main difference has to be the talent level of the developers. Now, there's no reason for AAA companies, which are in, in essence nothing more than massive corporations, to hire the best talented people. Why? Because they're going to rely on you buying their product based on brand name, i.e. Batman Arkham Shite and games like that or more Mortal Kombat that came out and was just complete garbage and couldn't be run worth a shit on day one and couldn't even play as half the characters and so on but are we needing more VRAM because 
the graphics and the hardware and the resolution requirement or is it to cover up for crappy developers uh you know you don't know we are in an industry where patch it later is the way to go for most developers and you know it just doesn't make any sense to me now the whole argument about resolution i get but let's go ahead and crank that up a little bit now i'm playing this on a 1440p monitor so i'm going to go ahead and up my graphics to 1440p i'm like now we're doubling 1080p resolution so i know you can't tell on youtube but there's my uh, frames per second with the same settings as you can see I'd have to crank some settings down to get back up to 60 frames per second but I'm just using this as an example because um, I do have everything pretty much cranked up uh, on my display graphics wise uh, pretty much as you can see everything is, other than the hair works which is just stupid and necessary I've got everything other than the uh, foliage visibility to high but everything else is ultra um, so I could reduce that some of those to high and get 60 frames per second very easily, but I'm just leaving there. Now, at 1440p, we finally have crossed the 2 gigabyte threshold. At 1440p. At 1080p, 2 gigabytes is plenty enough. So, here you go. Now, obviously, if you crank those settings down a little bit, you should even be fine uh, under 2, but... This game goes to prove with the volume and size that it has uh, that there's just no need for tons and tons of, of uh, VRAM. It, it, it seems that we are buying tons of VRAM to basically allow developers to basically make crap coded games and us needing to overpower them. If you watch any major review of a pretty busted or bad game when it first comes out, what do most of the big reviewers always say? I didn't have that much of a bad time because, you know, I've got 260, uh, you know, 2980 uh, Ti's or two Titan Z's or, or you know, uh, two R9 290X's. Uh, that's how you, I'm, you know, I'm powering right through it. Well, that doesn't work for most of us. Most of us either don't have that kind of money or just don't feel like we want to put that much money into our rigs uh, just to make the game run better because of crappy development. And that's something I think we should really take a stand on and, and demand that our games run better uh, without us needing to upgrade to hardware that can scratch your ass from outer space. It's, it just shouldn't be necessary. So in conclusion, as you can see from the data that is on the second line, there is absolutely no reason why we should be paying the ridiculous amount of money just so our games run well on our PC. All right, I'm going to stop that now. So if you like this topic and like to see more topics, please give this a like. I, it's my first ever video. I know it's not perfect and I got a long ways to go, but got to start somewhere and I thought this would be an interesting topic and and incidentally I got the idea for this topic from a review that was done by uh, Joker Productions uh, Joker uh, his channels Joker Productions I'm gonna try and link that here at the bottom uh, so you guys can link to it it's an excellent review of this game uh, and how it performs on some really really nice hardware and he brought up this particular point that you know look at the VRAM usage and that got me thinking, and I was like, man, you know what? That's absolutely right. Why the hell are we needing tons and tons of VRAM when games can run absolutely fine on two or under two gigs of VRAM? And this game, it's, again, I wanted to use a newer game that, had, that was large in scale and had a ton of textures and shading and light shafts and things to, to prove my point. And I think this does. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'd love to hear some feedback and know what I can do better to make my uh, next video. Uh, maybe some ideas and some uh, what I can do to kind of improve things. So looks like I'm going to take on these bandits and uh, I will see you guys later. Again, this is Bootstrap.
Well, uh, eh, uh, eh. Uh. Oh, still under 1.6. Sorry, guys, I know I'm supposed to be done with the video, but this kind of just happened, so why not? And one more to go. Ooh, damn, that wasn't nice. All right, there we go. Come on, dude. And what a nice way to end it all. God, I'm playing like ass. Oh, well. All right, guys. Hope you guys have a good one. And see you later. Once again, bootstrap.